Hey guys, what's good? What's going down? Two on fire nation back in town. Um, right here, you see some figures I picked up. Um, I did this video like three times now. I'm getting kind of irked. Reason why? Because I was blabbing on about a lot of nonsense, and I want to cut this video short and sweet. Let's get down to the nitty gritty. Um, the pickups I got. Um, well, I've been having this Dolph Ziggler for a while. But I just want to compare belts from belts. I picked up Series 12 Daniel Bryan. Um, see the difference between the belts? This belt came with the Miz in Series 9. I got it on Dolph Ziggler because I like to be up to date. Um, this belt came with Daniel Bryan. I think the detail of the belt that came with the Miz in Series 9 is better from being shiny and that nice golden thick well you know it's not gold but it looks shiny it looks beautiful this one looks fit, cheap and plastic i don't really like the look of that belt um if anyone want that belt it's up for trade let me know <laughs> but um not a bad belt it's just once you got that belt you know you really don't want that um this american dragon type um gear when he used to wear an roh he wore in WWE a couple of times. Um, now I like the look he got now, which I can't wait for him to make a figure of what he looks like today. But the long beard and then the short hair and it comes with the coat. That'd be a nice figure when they finally make it. Daniel Bryan, really good technician. A lot of people think he's boring, a weirdo for being a vegan, but you know, still a good wrestler, good performer. I want to see when you're ever going to cash the money in bank, maybe in WrestleMania. I don't know whoever he's going to feud with, but we'll see. Still a nice figure. Uh, cheap, cheesy head scan, but not bad. You, you know, it is what it is. So let's move these guys out the way. Done talking about them. Like I said, I want to make this video short, which I don't know how short it's going to be. If I don't ramble on, which I probably will. Uh, I picked up this LOD animal. I been had the hawk. I got the hawk in Comic Con in the summertime. They never had an animal there, so I finally found an animal, which I feel finally feel complete. I can now pose these guys for my demolition. Um, I waited to the last minute to pick up the Road Warriors. They came out in Series One, the Legends, and uh, they had a bunch of them at the time. I didn't really care for them. Until one day I'm like, hey, I want to get the Road Warriors. And when I tried to go get them, they was not in stores anymore. So I felt really hurt and mad that I couldn't find them. So I finally found them. Really nice. I like the black attire when they used to wrestle in AWA. Um, kind of plain, but not bad. Only thing I'm mad about these figures, I can't take the spikes off of them. If any of you guys know how to take them off. Let me know if I have to cut something or bend something. If, if it's like that, I might as well keep it on. I don't play with my figures anyway. I just display them. But um, is there a certain way you could take them off? I would like to, but if it's not, then oh well, so be it. I ain't going to complain too much. But if anyone, guys, you know how to do them, let me know. Back here, and this is for my man Tommy41339. I picked them up a Texas Tornado. He already got two of the Legends 6 already. I'm not going to tell you what he got. He's going to make a video sometime later on. But um, I got him carried by an Erica's Texas Tornado. Cool stuff. And I got Series 12 Kane. The last Kane they had at Kmart. Um, this goes to that dude. He asked me first. For a cane, we already worked out a trade, so I'm happy I found him one. For other guys that's been looking for a cane, that I said I'll look for you. If I can find it, I'll let you know, and we can work something out. But like I said, man, I, was, I had plans on picking up a bunch of these cane figures. But when I went there, people found my stash and got to them before I ended up paying for them. End up finding and buying them. 
Hopefully they bring another shipment out and I can pick you guys up some. But right now I found, I'm happy I found at least one for somebody. So that's that dude. Got a cane coming your way. Just let me know you want me opening for you or keeping the box. Just let me know. And um, main event figures. Figures I was really reluctant on buying at first. But due to Kmart having buy one, get one half off. I ended up buying them. Second time I bought Triple H. First time I bought it for Tommy41339. Um, wasn't really planning on buying one for myself. But, like I said, man, the final moments, you know, is a nice figure. Just the head scan is complete trash to me. If I could find a way to customize it and pop that head off and change it around, I might do that. But still, I like the removable cloth pants and the coat is badass. All you need is a sludge hammer. This is when he first came back in WWE from a long hiatus from an injury. So not bad. Stone Cold Steve Austin, my favorite wrestler of all time. I don't really like the pants. Reason why I didn't get this figure. First of all, Stone Cold wear jean shorts. And if it was going to be pants, I'd rather be pants like this from Triple H than it be painted on pants. But... Still stone cold. I like I like the um jacket. I love the hat. I don't really like the chain. It's like a thick Mr. Cheat Mr. T chain. Stone Cold wore silver chains. He never wore a gold chain. And if he did, it was never this huge. But what can you ask for, guys? Still stone cold, I guess. Just not really happy with it that much, but either or. But, you know, two guys that did a lot of stuff in WWE. Uh, Triple H is cool. I'm a huge Stone Cold fan. I grew up watching Stone Cold. So, yeah. Try to make this short and sweet. Stuff I picked up. You know, I just want to get down to the point. Um, What's next for me? Um, Got a couple packages. Should be coming soon. Um, due to the holiday season... Guys, you you out there trading? I will put all trades on holds if I were you, just because holiday season packaging will be past due because you know stuff will be backed up. You know, people are sending a lot of packaging and shipment and stuffs, and you know I got a bunch of packages. My girlfriend was you know still waiting for stuff coming to mail for her stuff. I got stuff that I order offline for Christmas presents for people. I still never got that yet. So, you guys that, you know, holiday season is a busy time of the year for mailmans and postal services. They get backed up. A lot of stuff might get, not, I, don't, I necessarily don't say get lost, but it don't come in the time that you think it's going to come just because it's the holidays. So, I might that do if you want me to send it soon, I will send this figure, but I don't know when we'll ever get to you. On Christmas right around the corner. But we're we'll gonna talk, you know, leave me an inbox message or whatever. Um, but I am expecting a package from Mike Lee. Um, he sent out Tuesday. Eventually, hopefully it comes tomorrow. If not, then might hopefully Monday. Um, Just Jack sending me a package, um, and Tommy sent out a couple of days ago, so that should be coming soon as well. I necessarily don't know when it'll be coming. I mean, confirmation right now is all out of order. Like I said, when you, if you're expecting something and it's not here yet, it's the holidays. You gotta take that in consideration, guys. Don't call no one a scammer yet. You know, just. Just hold on. Let's wait and see what's going on with the mailing. But um, I should be sending out eventually. Some, I'll send out to Mike Lee when I get my package. Also got a package to um, send out to Just Jack. And um, send this to that dude. Hold off to Tommy. Me and Tommy build on packages for a while. 
Um, what else I want to talk about? Um, any figures I'm looking for? Not really. Got pretty much everything I'm looking for. Um, I'm Toys Us Rock. Um, might I'm looking for? I'm interested in, but I eventually can find it myself. But anyone got a rock? Then let me know. Um, the final moments, Brent Hart and John Cena, which I don't think is out in stores right now. But I'm looking for new stuff, guys. And guys that like my video that talks about trading, just let me know what you got, man. You know, like I said, I'm not really looking for that much stuff. But it's not, you know, it may be stuff I, I won't mind having. And I'll just trade just for the hell of it. But, guys, you got to understand, don't try to break no one's balls. You know, I know there's a lot of people, you know, watch people videos and they see a lot of things they like, they want. And they they want you to give them this and that and this and that. First of all, I'm not rich, okay? You know, I like to help my friends out. I do that. For other guys that I never traded with, you know, I, I don't have no problem. Just let me know if you got something I'm interested in. But I'm not rich, guys, you know? And for people that see a lot of my figures and want a lot of figures I have, and might just have one figure I might be interested in a little bit of, don't try to break my balls and want me to trade three figures for one, which does not happen. <laughs> you know, the, the, let me tell you about the tips of the trade in the game. If you have a Jax figures, which now a lot of people are trading Jax figures because everyone's trying to make room for the Mattels. Jack figures, not saying they're not rare. They don't mean nothing. But right now, don't come compare to a Mattel figure. If you trade a Jax figure for a Mattel figure, first of all, it must be a corny Mattel figure. Or a figure that don't cost that much as Mattel. Which all Mattel figures is high. You have to trade more than one Jax figure for a Mattel figure. If it, like, say, for instance, if someone wanted to define a moment as Triple H, you cannot offer me a Rufus Aggression Randy Orton for this Triple H. I might be a little bit interested in that Randy Orton, but you're going to have to give me more than just a Randy Orton figure for a $26 um, Triple H. Okay? Or any of these Mattel figures. Any of these Mattel figures. Not saying. You, you're going to have to give up more than just one little Jax figure. That's been used and played with. Guys like me, Tommy. We don't play with our figures. You know. All we do probably display them. You know. Sometimes I like to be generous and help people out. But you know. I'm not going to accept junk. Or, you know, be insulted by the stuff people offer me for trade for a brand new figure. And if it's a figure came from me and I bought myself, I guarantee every figure I bought myself is in great condition. Nothing is worn or used and beat up. And the stuff I did trade as worn and used and beat up, I got those from fellow YouTubers. Okay. So, next time people ask me, I give you a basic Jax for your, your Mattel cane, you better send me more than just a basic Jax, because I'm going to ignore it, okay? I'm not trying to be mean, or I'm not trying to call no one out, but that's, you know, I got a lot of people do that, you know, ask me to trade them a basic Jax figure that's probably been customized or beat up or scratched up for a brand new figure and it's not right or ask me for a bunch of my Mattel figures for what one good figure they got it's not happening and let me tell you the definition of a rare a rare figure is a figure you can't find in any place a rare figure is what you get from ringside exclusives Ringside collectibles, if you get from Maddie Collectors, 
Those are rare figures. Rare figures. If you buy a straight ass society CM Punk, that's a rare figure. Uh, granted, you shouldn't just trade one figure for that figure. You will have to give up multiple figures for a straight ass CM Punk. Because it's only been sold online. You can't find that figure in stores. Just because if you go on eBay and find figures that people are willing to pay $60 for, don't mean it's rare. It only means that people are desperately will pay that much money to get that figure. Okay? If I go to Target right now and pick up an exclusive Target figure, just because it's... It's not rare because you can. It's 101 targets, thousands or millions. I don't know how many targets there is that you can find that figure if you go to some one of them targets. If I go to Toys R Us and find a Toys R Us Stone Cold or a Toys R Us Rock, it's not that rare just because it's only exclusive from Toys R Us. I can drive, I can walk, I can catch the bus to Toys R Us. To pick that figure up somewhere now I know that's going off for $60 or how much because people don't want to go to the store and pick them up they will pay that much to order offline but it's not rare that you can find it yourself and pay what $17.99 or $18 for a figure but anyway just think think about that before you try to uh, ask people for trades or stuff like that. But um, I'm done babbling on. This is 2 on Fire Raider Nation saying thank you for watching. I love you all, guys. I don't, I'm not being a jerk. I don't, I'm not trying to be an ass. I'm just tired of people trying to break my balls for something I got. You know, I'll help you guys out if you help me out. Or if you come to me correctly, I'll come to you correct. But uh, when I feel like you're trying to insult me for my intelligence, I get a little pissed off. But YWC, I love you guys. Keep collecting. Figure Nation Inc. for life. You know, I enjoy all you com all your comments. You know... God bless y'all. Bye.